Gary, a frustrating afternoon. Give us your honest opinion. I just said very frustrating. It just doesn't seem to be landing at us in the box, and we just kind of get that that wee break because we, all season we've scored a lot of goals and we've, we've always had players that create chances. We've just not been that sharp. I think it's just this time of the season. Everybody's we need to get our, get our finger out and back to winning ways. We've had a, a wee bit of a kind of drought, not uh, as, as a collective. I think that's four games we haven't found the back of the net in the league at least. Um, what was that down to? Uh, do you allude to the fact there that the guys are maybe just slightly jaded? Is that fair? Could be that. I wish I, I wish I knew what it was, so I could fix it. But in football, you go through wee patches like this. It just doesn't. If football was good all the time, it would be brilliant. You got to go through wee spells like this. Our teams have got to make it hard for us to sit back, defend a box, and they've got two guys at the back at six foot four, and they're pretty good in there. So it's pretty hard to hard to score. But you know, we just need to keep on working hard. It's down to us, and if we do what we're good at, I'm sure we'll come back soon. And with two aerially dominant centre halves, as you mentioned there, and playing a, a fairly tight 4 1 4 1 formation, just how difficult was that from a player's perspective today to try and break that down? Exactly, it's, it's not easy, but if you want to win leagues, you need, you need to get used to it. Teams are giving their respect with sitting back, but as I said, if you want to go and win leagues and do well, you need to get, you need to get good at it as soon as possible. The manager said in his interview that he felt, in a way, it's it's almost a backhanded compliment. Is that fair? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, it, but as I said, we, the start of the season we were breaking these teams down and the last month or two we've just kind of came off the, came off the pedal a wee bit and we kind of seem to be getting in the areas we, we were getting at the start of the season. We were on a fantastic run up until the, the game away at East End <coughs> Park. Do you think that result has maybe just, just dented the confidence a bit? It does. It takes you stuffing it a wee bit. Obviously getting beaten at Derby, it's, it's natural I think. But um, it's sort of done to us. We need to get back to training and back to back to where we're good at because they don't turn bad players over a few months. We're as good players in there. We've, we've showed it. We're in a great position. We've got massive games coming up. Semi final. We're in the playoffs. We've got a lot to look forward to. So this start, this stage of season, they won't be fingering it away. We need to get back to, to form as soon as possible. Is the frustration perhaps that today we had maybe five or six kind of half chances and it just couldn't take one of them? Exactly. It's just that we. A wee bit's just no landing for us, just, just now we're just getting a wee bit unlucky or we're just no there, it's just, I wish I knew what it was so I could fix it, but we just need to keep on working hard and hopefully the next few weeks will change and for the better and we'll get back to winning ways going into a, a massive game. And that's the thing, it was actually a, a draw today, does it almost feel like a defeat because there seems like a sense of kind of deflation at the moment, is that yeah, fair? Exactly, because you're, you want to win games, you're full quick in this league, you, you, you're expected to, you've got the, the pressure on you to go and win games and we know that in there, that's why we're disappointed if it was... Any other team, you're probably, ah, it's a draw, it's not too bad, but for us, we know that's not good enough, so we need to take that on your shoulders and try and move on. Really important, though, that we, we don't let the kind of heads drop in any way as well, because, you know, with all due respect, it, it looks like the Fairland are going to wrap up the title soon, um, but there's potentially a couple of big games coming up in terms of playoffs. Airdrie, for example, seem to have a lot of momentum just now. Yeah. We need to get ourselves to that stage as well. Yeah, exactly, like I just said, there's a massive games coming up. We know how important these games are for the football club and ourselves. The Scottish Cup finals don't come about often in your career, so... It's one you need to, we need to get a good run of form going into these games. We don't like going into these games low in confidence because it's, it's, there's nothing worse going into football matches low in confidence when you're not you're no doing well scoring or whatever. So we need to get back back to winning ways as soon as possible. What was it like leading the line today? It was, it's hard. It's, it's, not, it's not easy. Of course, you've got two big monsters up you, but I try my best and obviously I'm trying to wait for that wee chance in the box and I'm, I'm looking for one, but maybe I look, at my, I look at myself after the game. Maybe I should be doing more in the box. Maybe I should be making these runs. But nothing's really landing me now, so you, you get that football. If I took every chance, I probably wouldn't beat Falkirk. And that's the thing, you know, you know it, it feels frustrating all around not to get the result, but on another day, could this have been different? Had we got the first goal, it seemed to be that there was potentially more to come. Yeah, exactly. It's that first goal, it kind of breaks them open. If, if you get that first goal, they need to come out, and you can pick them off. You can see when it's now, now they just get deeper and deeper and deeper, and they'll, they'll try and make it hard, which they did. And fair play to them; they're fighting at the bottom of the table, and a point's massive for them. So fair play. You said earlier on that you, you know you don't like losing a derby, and it's natural; it takes yeah. the stuffing out of you. In a way, is it a, a good thing that you know you have kind of a, a quick opportunity to, to make amends for that with the the game coming up next week? Yeah, exactly, it's massive. For this season, we've, no, we've, not, we've played not too bad against the Felon, but a bit unlucky a few games. But you don't want to go through a season not beating your, your rivals, so the boys the boys know how important it is. You don't even need to, need to ask that. And, and how, uh, if we are to take something from that game next week, what needs to what needs to change? Confidence, we need to get back to being confident and know we're good players, because they are good players. As I said, you don't become a bad player a couple of months, so we need to get, we need to get back to training and training. We need to be, be better and we need to look at ourselves as well, and hopefully we can get back to three points on Saturday. Here's hoping Gary, honest as always, and thanks for your time. Thanks very much. Cheers.